Uh, Alright guys, uh, Damino Gamer here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install a well, how you can install a skin changer for uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. <coughs> so uh, before I before I get into this, I'll show you the game unmodded. I'll show you the console in a, uh, in a moment. So uh, here's the console. Now. There is no skins here at the moment, but I'm going to add skins in. In uh, one of these methods, I'll show you will they uh, automatically add the console. One of the things you need to do in the to inst one of the things you need to do in installing the mod will automatically give you the console. So uh, the console is a standalone thing you need, but the mod the mod will give you uh, when you install it. So. Uh, just remember that the way the console looks because the skins are above eh, all of this. The skins are above above this when you install them. So uh, yeah, let's move on to installing the mod now. <coughs> okay, so uh, the first step to installing this mod, uh, scroll down to uh, scroll down to here. It says you installed the wrong version of one the the one point three patch. The correct version can be found here. Click that. Uh, no, hang on. I'll go back and show you. Fuck. I've been a fucking retard again. As you see, it says media fire here. Click that. Uh, it'll come. It'll take you to this this thing. And uh, just uh, do the patch. Uh, drop drop the patch anywhere. I just dropped it in one of my hard drives. Uh, you need this patch. This patch. This patch will uh, give you the uh, the console. So uh, yeah, this patch is the thing that will give you the console. When install one of those, uh, just uh, go with the way, go with the flow. Uh, turn all these off. Uh, and uh, it's going to put it into a folder, right? The folder is uh, program files. Star Wars Battlefront 2 game data. Yes, it's all this here. Yeah, that that's it. Okay, so game data. Uh, you, uh, you drop it into the game data. And then that that should install the one the one point three patch you need. And uh, finally, you're gonna go and get the mod. Me. So, uh, just gonna change your mod version 0 0.8. Gonna let it download. Uh, stuck in there again. That's what she said. But yeah, yeah, you got to uh, let it download now. And open the README. Uh, and you want to put it in game data, data level PC. Alright, so data level PC. Drop both these in the uh, drop both of them in, and uh, that should be it. That should be the mod installed. It's 500 odd meg, megabyte. So, uh, yeah, and then that's the mod. The most the most recent version as well. It comes with a lot of stuff for uh, the, the clones, the rebels, the empire, pretty much all of them. So once you've got all that dropped in there, uh, that's you. You can go back into the game and you should have the mod enabled, so it's you in the game. Okay, so uh, now, now I've got the mods, as you can see here, I've got all of these skins now. Look at them all. There's, there's all sorts of shit here. Uh, yeah. I mean, check him out. Holy fucking shit. I should make a video on this. Uh, I definitely will one day. It'd be quite a boring video though. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm not sure if I should, but if you want a video on all these skins, showcasing every single one of them, just describe how you want me to show them off. Uh, 
uh, I'll do. But uh, as you can see, uh, here's the normal clone. Uh, and uh, oh, oopsies. And uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll put on the the, the two twelve attack battalion. And as you see now, now he's got different gear on. You can even uh, like revert back to. Uh, actually, no, well, I can't do it. But you can, if if you have uh, the normal clones installed, you can uh, revert back to the original clones, not the five and first. I think uh, I overwrote. I've got in in this the the, the phase two troopers have been overwrote with the five and first. So the five and first and phase two are exactly the same in this game, but they they are they are slightly different as you can kind of see by the eyes. It's because uh, the phase two is modded as well, as you can see. You see a lot more of it by the eyes. But uh, that's that's something unique to my copy. But uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Look at that shock trooper. Uh, there, are, you can even have uh, like phase one snow troopers. Like holy shit! But the thing they they I love about this mod is you can have phase one troopers but not only that you can have you can actually give them the uh, the 501st uh, the 501st markings <coughs> which is fucking which is just badass like uh, and the working game in a room uh, it replaces the whole entire team whoopsies but it replaces everyone my setup's bad, so sorry if this is wobbly, shaky, but yeah, replaces everyone. There's also a free camera if you, if you want to take a really, really, really good look at them. Uh, there, there's a, there's one of the clones. It's the clone, the clone. As you see, there's a, there's some uh, shock troopers. Phase one shock troopers, uh, star fucking battalions. I mean, look at shape this shit out. But yeah, um, I just wanted to show this off because I, I really like this mod. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I've been, I've been uh, trying to get this mod installed for fucking a long time and and couldn't. But uh, it just it just wouldn't work. But I figured out how to recently, and I thought I'd make a video on it. You need need that patch. That patch was essential. See, I didn't have the patch at first. I was trying to install the mod, and it wasn't working. By the way, here's a bug. Here's a bug with a mod. If you put too many skins in, this is why you don't enable it one skin like per match. If you enable more skins each time you enable a skin, you should restart the map because if you enable too many, you'll you'll get this abomination. That's just a bug in the mod, but it's pretty funny. I thought I'd just show it off. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I didn't have the, pa the patch file, the one point three patch I showed before installed the actual the main skin changer files in the level PC folder. But <clears throat> yeah, it's a skin changer. If you want any more help, I'll uh, I'll try to help it. Anyone who needs it as much as I can in the comments. If uh, you can't install the mod or something. But this mod's quite easy to install up because if I can do it, anyone can fucking do it. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not by any means the smartest guy in the world. I'm not fucking like, I'm not fucking like a, some sort of professor or some shit. I'm just like a guy who plays video games. But if you need help, I'll help you. So yeah, that's the skin changer mod, lads. <clears throat> yeah, it looks pretty nice. I got him. I love it. I love these mods. This mod is probably one of the best mods if you want some reskins. But don't want to have to install a fuck ton of map packs and stuff to get res to get reskins. You can just install this and have about well over like a hundred hundred or reskins. Anyway, guys, I'm done talking. I just wanted to show this off. So, you guys, I'm Damien no Gamer. Enjoy the mod, lads. Uh, peace out and uh, bye.
reference, reference commentary since I moved into my new house, by the way. Thank you.